and welcome to another Salesforce and Trailhead tutorial with myself, Jonathan Fox. And today I'm going to be diving into the second part from my last video, which is communicating between um, Lightning Web components, but just components in general at this point. Um, we're going to be looking at Lightning Message Service. So LMS is fairly new. We're going to have a look at how we um, pass a message between two Lightning Web components in separate hierarchies um, of the DOM. But this can actually be used to communicate between Visual Force components and Lightning Web components and Aura components. So you, you get the feel that you can actually reuse this in, in many different places. Also, it can be used to communicate within the same hierarchy. Um, so Lightning nested Lightning Web components, um, but the main uh, the main principle behind it is to communicate outside of um, being able to traverse that DOM and be able to pass um, data between. So let's go ahead and look into Salesforce and we will see what I mean. So as you can see here, we are back to the same Lightning Web components that we, we saw in the previous video. We've got our nested Lightning Web components over here and we've got a separate Lightning Web component over here. Now. I'm going to click publish lightning message. So I go and nothing happens. We look over here and um, this uh, lightning web component, if I click subscribe, it's now subscribed to this lightning message service, which means as you can see the time's changing every time I click publish because I'm publishing a new message. Um, we can see that this lightning web component on the right hand side now uh, listens out for these messages. As soon as it unsubscribes, and any other messages are published, we see that it, it, it isn't um, responding, it's not, it's not capturing those messages. So let's have a look in VS Code and see how that is actually done. So here we have our parent, the one that is publishing the Lightning message. We also have another uh, Lightning Web component, which is the one that's subscribing and unsubscribing to the message. First of all, what we need to do is create the actual message channel. So looking over the left hand side here, we can see that if we minimize that, we see uh, a new folder structure called message channels. And within, we need to create this XML document, which is our um, name for our message channel, dot message channel meta XML. And let's have a look at that and see what it looks like. So as you can see here, very similar to our Lightning Web components, we need to make it exposed. We can give a bit of a description to the message channel and what it's used for. But the main thing here is we create Lightning message fields. And this is where we can store that information. So I've got my message to send and I've got a source system. Um, these were used in the example in the uh, recipes, but you can add as many fields as you want, change the names, do whatever you want with them. Now let's head over back to the parent Lightning Web component and we can see now that we need to import some library. We've got our Lightning Message Service imported and we've got the Create Message Context, Release Message Context and Publish because we're going to be using those um, particular methods. We've also got our, we've imported our actual uh, Lightning Message channel as well, um, the one that we've just created. So here what we now need to do is we create the message context, we call a function that will publish the message. This is um, wired to a button in the HTML and we create our message here. Um, the, the, the fields that we created in the message service are defined and the values for each are also defined. We then publish it with the context, the channel it's going to and the actual message that we're sending. And we can also disconnect, um, so we release the message context uh, when it's done. Now that needs to be handled in in any of the components that want to subscribe to this message channel. So we head over to our um, other Lightning Web component, where we again um, we are uh, importing these methods. But as you can see, this time we've got the subscribe and unsubscribe. And if I click subscribe, then I'm subscribing to that particular message channel. And if I get a message, I'm also handling it within this function here, um, stringifying the message. And it, uh, if I want to unsubscribe, then I'm just unsubscribing from the message service. I then use 
uh, the HTML side of the Lightning Web Component to render the, uh, the data as I want to see it. I hope that was a really quick and easy demo, useful demo for you to understand what we can do with Lightning Message Service and how Lightning Message Service works. Really powerful, especially when it comes to um, different DOM hierarchies, but also being able to communicate between Visual Force and Lightning Web Components without them being nested um, with Aura Components and Lightning Web Components. Let's head, head back to um, Salesforce just one more time. Let's have a look at how it worked. And as you can see, we'll clear the message. We are unsubscribed and we're not receiving that message at the moment. We're going to subscribe to the channel and now we get the message every time it's published. We unsubscribe. This was the last message that's saved uh, in the members on, on the JavaScript for that Lightning Web component. And we see that it's not updating because it's no longer subscribed. Resubscribe to it and it changes. Unsubscribe and nothing happens. And we can, we've just got a little function there to clear the message. Thank you very much for watching the video. Um, please do hit the like button, subscribe and share if you found it useful. But at the very least, please do leave me a comment uh, and feedback is really, really appreciated. Until next time, thank you very much.